Hey YouTube, it's Aaron here, and I'm filming this on my Flip Ultra HD, and I figured I'd show you all how the video is and everything, and I figured we might go outside, see how it is there. It's a pretty day out, just like 10 minutes ago, it was pouring down rain, and our driveway had like 2 inches of water in it, but now it's all pretty, so we're gonna go outside, and here's indoor with like no lighting except for the big light right there, and that one right there, let's go over here. Rawr. Oh, light switch. So, pretty good videos inside. HD quality, of course. Oh, there's my backpack with my name on it. Ooh. Yeah. My Florida flops. I, uh, I kind of killed Florida. Sorry about that. So, the door. Rah. Ah, uh, it's really humid out today. I don't like it. Be happy. Don't worry. The, the, um, the viewfinder is kind of in a weird spot. Like, you want to put your finger there, but you can't. But it is kind of raised out, so it's not that bad. And it's got a little, uh, indicator for recording, recording light, which I like. Let's go over here. Let's stare at the sun, see how that is. Look at the water. And over here, Let's see what's going on. And then this is under our carport, so oh, it's echoey. And then that low light, so it might be able to tell there. Little, I don't, I don't even know what that is. It makes sound. Here, let's run around, see how it is. Let's come over here and swing. Oh, it's all wet. The ground's really mushy. There we go, trying to keep it stable. There we go. I'm just trying to run around and give you all a test of how it how it records. There's our house, there's our deck, and there's our windows. There's our air C AC that doesn't really work. Or maybe it does. I don't know if we ever got it fixed. Wandering around. Go, go try and find some pretty flowers we can look at. Ah. Okay, there's this thing, which isn't a real flower, but it still looks pretty good. And just some rocks, and a bush, and a car, and a basketball go, and a car, and a mailbox. So, yeah. Ah, there's something in my shoe. Okay. Well, here's some outdoor footage. Okay. So, if anyone wanted to see what it looks like outdoors, there it is. We'll go indoor now for some more tests. Brick door. Lock the door. Lock this other door. Oh, keys. Let's look at the chandelier. Yeah, now let's turn it on. Yee. Yeah. So, at first. It's just really bright and like raw, and then it focuses, so it does a pretty good job. HGTV. Let's look at a book in it. I don't know if that's legal or not. <laughs> a picture of my brother racing, although I'm in the reflection. Me. Here's a mirror over here. So, yeah, pretty good. I'm liking it so far. Mother's Day card. Little birds. Some bananas. 
Let's, let's, let's look at bananas, see how they look. So yeah, and this is in the kitchen with like no light, only a fan. That room has a light. This one doesn't. Look at this onion. Something in there. And looking outside, ew, ew, there's a spider. Ew. I hate spiders. Get away. Why don't you just get away? See, it won't focus in on that. Like, it's focused in on the background. Ah! Eee! Eee! It's looking at me. Eee! Get away. I don't like you. And this is a pretty good video for it being a sliding glass door. And then a screen. There's something right there. Which you can't really tell that much. So yeah, there's that. And there's not a buddy in that cage if you were wondering. This puzzle we were working on. Well, I'm working on. See, it doesn't have that good if you're like really up close to things. But other than that, it has really good ones. Here's some flowers we can look at. Um, you can't. This isn't the best. Like, the flowers are a lot yellower and prettier and purpler and stuff in real life. Actually, those ones look better on camera. These ones are a lot darker. Yellows are much yellower. These, you can't really see where all the petals go and they just kind of blend in each other. So that's not the best, but it works. And then, um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just kind of running around showing you random stuff. So yeah. And then, just, yeah. So, that's pretty much all that I can show you, I guess. I don't, I don't know. If you want me to film, like, a certain thing with this, so you know what it looks like, just let me know, and I will. Let's film the computer, see if that's any different. I don't know why it would be, really. But, uh... And then let's just film. Whoa, that was a cool screensaver. There's all my videos. Here's my channel. Let's look at my YouTube channel. See, like this, you you can't even read text, which kind of kind of makes me mad. What about on a phone? Can you read text? See, it's really gonna. I don't I don't know if I'll keep this because on a review I won't even be able to like show the keyboard or anything, and on the. Uh, and and you can't even really see the screen at all. So that's something that I really don't like with the Kodak. It had a macro mode, so you could at least do that. So I don't know about this. If you all know any other cameras that are kind of like this, I really like the pocketable design with the spring-loaded flip. But, you know, not not a necessity because it is kind of weird. Like, it's it's not really that practical, but... If you all know another camera that is just a small one, kind of pocketable, let me know and I'll probably end up getting it and I'll do unboxing reviews and everything. And just make sure it has a macro mode or something or autofocus, something, because with the pocket cameras like this, they don't, they don't do the like up close stuff that good unless it has a macro mode like the Kodak. <gasps> that might be why it's not working like the Kodak ZI6 does. The flips do not. So, if you, I'm just going to leave it. So, if you know something like that that does have one, let me know. And I'll probably end up getting it and returning this one. Or I'll keep this one, return the Kodak. I don't know. What should I do? Anyway, there's some video of it, what it looks like. Bye.